One of the political crises facing the forthcoming Amak local council poll is the internal crisis within the ruling party APC where two candidates are claiming the right as flag bearers of the party, namely Honorable Sulaiman Hassan Gwagwa and Honorable Usman Mutala Kashi. This crisis has led to the litigation and counter litigation from one court to another. Earlier before now, APC AMAC has submitted the name of Honorable Mutala Kashi as the authentic flag bearer of the party before the litigation and final pronouncement of the appeal court and redress by Honorable Mutala at the Supreme Court. While addressing a press conference in Abuja to clear the hair over the last appeal court judgment, Honorable Mutala lamented that the appeal court judgment was not in its favor then necessitate to challenge the decision at the Supreme Court and he remain the authentic flag bearer of the party, APC, unless the Supreme Court says otherwise. It may interest you to know that the primary we conducted, I was the winner. Party took my name to the INEC, my name was published. Later, I was taken to the court. In the court, I won it gallantly. It was also proceeded to appeal court. And in that respect, it was not ruled in our favor. In a situation like this, if you have any case and you have taken the case to the APES court, that is the highest court as far as Nigeria is concerned, the status quo remains. And in this regard, what do we mean by the status quo? It means Murtala Usman Karishi is the authentic candidate of APC in Abuja Municipal Area Council until after the verdict of the Supreme Court. As a disciplined person, as a person that respects the law, a person that has the people at heart, and a person that is proud of Abuja Municipal Area Council, it is important to let people know. It is important for people to be educated. It is important to ask people to go for further findings that I am the authentic candidate of Abuja Municipal Area Council. We are aware there are some certain people are parading themselves as the candidate. But let the law speak. In this respect, looking at the guidelines and the time table of the election, we are going to have the general election on 12 February 2022. And in this respect, we're making our contacts until after the verdict of the Supreme Court. It may also interest you to know that I have no any other party apart from APC and I will continue to respect the party. Among the APC stakeholders speaking at the press conference was Comrade Yusuf, who described the activities of other camp as unreasonable and unwarranted. He further stated that no flag bearer is authentic than Honorable Mutala Kashi because party has submitted its name and INEC has no power to change it. As we speak to you now, these people have gone around to mislead so many of our people, trying to distract our campaigns and trying to stop us from going out from campaigns just because they want the APC to lose in Ama and God forbid. So as a support group today, we are here to tell the whole world, the person who is the authentic candidate of the party, it is called Dr. Usman Yabubu Kashi Agilo. The party has not changed its mandate from whatever it was before. Up to now, we have the supporters. You can see what we have done in the few days. You can see the mammoth and the massive support we have gained from the people. We cannot allow people who are not ordinarily the members of this party, who are just enforced on the people and the members of this party to come and distract our home as a people, to come and cause problems in Amak, 
to come and stop us from winning this election. We are winning this election by the grace of God. We have to assure the national escort of our party that this election is as God as we have won it and that this mandate was not a mistake and nobody can mislead us, nobody can disunite the APC. In the same vein, Comrade Chukwe Bukai Mane called on all well-meaning Nigerians in Amak to support Honorable Mutala Kashi for good governance and right candidate at the upcoming council poll. The people of Nigeria have been clamoring for a younger candidate to emerge in the presidential race, House of Rep, Senate and otherwise. And we are starting from the grassroots. And the grassroots is the local government. And Honorable Dr. Mutala Usman Karshi is a young man, is an academician who is well read and understand the yearnings of the people. And we want to use him to set the ball rolling that after his election, other young men will have hope, other young men will believe in the Nigerian system, other young men will know that the young people, that now is their time to take part and take charge and assume role of leadership in the Nigerian system. I believe leadership is like a research work. No matter how you do it, there is area that you may not work. Well. 